Hey everybody, this is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates. And today's topic is going to be, what is the difference between a short sale versus a foreclosure versus an auction? Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates. And today's topic is going to be, what is the difference between a short sale versus a foreclosure versus an auction? So let's start with uh, short sale first. We're gonna talk about a few things. Number one, who owns the property? And number two, what is the purchase process? What does that look like? So number one, for a short sale, the owner of the property still still is on title. So let's say, for example, the owner is um, John Smith. John Smith still owns the property and signs all the purchase contracts and legal documents to sell the house. However, the bank has to approve the sales price and conditions because the property is being sold short of the mortgage balance that they owe. So uh, just to clarify again, a short sale doesn't mean the process is any shorter. It just means the price of the home, the sales price of the homes is short of the amount of money that the owner owes on the property. Therefore it's short. Okay. So that's the first uh, type of sale. And um, how do you purchase one of those? You can do it with cash or financing through your agent writing a regular purchase contract uh, on regular uh, uh, California Associ Association of Realtors legal forms. That's a short sale. Number two, a foreclosure. How does that work? Who owns the property? So a foreclosure at that point, uh, the bank now owns the property. So John Smith is out of the picture and the bank is the one that signs everything. So as a buyer, you're negotiating with the bank. Your agent can be involved to help facilitate the process. However, a lot of banks have their own legal forms and contracts. So when that happens, it's always a good idea to have an actual real estate attorney review the purchase contract since those can be different than the ones we're regularly trained on. However, a lot of the contracts do look very similar. Those homes are usually purchased as is and you can either finance or buy them in all cash and uh, close the deal with a regular mortgage and that's totally fine. So your agent can be involved in that. The third type of sale is an auction. So who owns the property at an auction? The bank does, uh, or sometimes the county does if, if the owner has defaulted on taxes. So those homes are sold on the courthouse steps, the agent not involved. And those homes can only be bought with cash typically. So usually buyers are seasoned professional investors that bring cashier's checks to the courthouse steps. So they'll have cashier's checks and sometimes, um, uh, you know, $100,000 cashier's checks and they'll just bring a whole bunch of them. So if they're buying a $500,000 house, they just pay $500,000 of cashier's checks right then and there. There's no due diligence process. You can't uh, back out of the deal once you agree to purchase the house and sign a contract at the courthouse steps, that's it. So that's why if you wanna buy an auction, you have to be a seasoned uh, investor and have done all your due diligence before because all of the encumbrances and clouds on title come with the property a lot of times and you're in charge of clearing those. So that's the difference uh, primarily between a short sale, foreclosure and an auction. Uh, the difference uh, lies within who owns the property how does the offer and escrow process works and how you can finance or purchase the home in cash. Those are the differences. If you have any other topics you want me to talk about, feel free and contact me at the phone number at the bottom of the screen or shoot me a text or email. I'll be happy to make another video. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.